Sorry, thank you. It's 647. Let's get a check of your first warning weather. It is an impact day here at WDSU. So what are these conditions looking like this morning if people are getting ready to head out the door? Things are looking pretty good right okay. now. Okay. We still may have some fog getting a little bit thicker here in the next hour or so, but as of right now, our visibility is not impaired. There's probably smoke in the atmosphere. That's something we're going to have to consider for at least the next few days. Well, let's check those latest visibility reports. You'll see that eh, there really doesn't appear to be any thick fog anywhere. Visibility was down to about a half a mile in Bell Chase. Now it's at two miles. But as we look at our current conditions right now at Louis Armstrong International Airport, you're going to see that Things are generally, and I'll get to those current conditions in just a moment. I was a little quick on the trigger finger there. There you go, the dew point 55 and the temperature 56. So those are almost equal. Humidity right now close to 100%, but we have a little bit of a breeze and visibility at 10 miles at the airport. If it is going to be foggy, it will be in the next hour to hour and a half after that. Fog not a concern. However, I think by tomorrow and Monday, fog is going to come back for us. This is the reason why it's not going to rain over the next couple of days. Look at the dry air that we have in place at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. There's some cool air out there and there is a low pressure system with a trailing cool front, but this is taking too far of a northerly track to have any impact on us. Sure, temperatures behind that front are below freezing as you go to the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. But unlike that last cold front that changed our weather dramatically, this one is going to stay well to the north. All right, let's take a look at the tropics. Tropic watch, if you will. One area of cloudiness, Hurricane Center is watching, bringing rain to Central America. Not a factor for us, nothing we're concerned about. Here it is, your trifecta, if you will, as far as sports go. Tulane football this afternoon. Beautiful weather, 72 degrees at kickoff, 65 degrees as the game is wrapping up. LSU taking on Alabama and Tuscaloosa. The weather there are also going to be great. 70 degrees at 645 for the kickoff, falling through the low 60s by the end of the game. And for the Breeders' Cup, which you can watch right here on NBC, the track will be fast and the turf will be firm. Temperatures, again, cooperating in the low 70s all afternoon. Let's take you hour by hour and go through your weekend. Today, your high temperature should be in the mid to low 70s in most locations. And again, hazy sunshine in the forecast, but otherwise just a great day. Of course, that smoke smell may be in the atmosphere, may be in the air, but otherwise very nice. Uh, tomorrow morning may be a little bit foggy with morning temperatures close to 50 on the North Shore. Tomorrow afternoon, a degree or two warmer, still very, very nice. Then Monday morning, I think the fog may be even a little bit thicker yet. If you're planning ahead to the work week Monday, I might want to leave a little early. Patchy fog today, hazy sunshine and warm with a high temperature in the mid 70s. Clear skies, comfortably cool tonight with patchy fog develop, uh, developing toward morning. And once we get rid of the fog tomorrow, hazy sunshine and a touch warmer, very comfortable. High temperatures rising by a degree or two each day as we go through the beginning of next week. All right, there's your chance for rain up to 40% on Friday. Not the greatest chance, but still our best chance for rain over the next seven days. That is your WDSU first warning forecast. Jim,